Hey guys, welcome to Dagi Programmer. This is the first part of our series of CSS tutorials. In this tutorial, the learner is expected to go from beginner to more advanced concepts of CSS, like uh, more advanced concepts like box model, the grid, flex box, media queries, the box model, um, animations, and transitions, and many more. So it's like a zero to hero type of um, approach in this full series of tutorials. So um, stay tuned for the whole playlist. Now we will go uh, to the work. So we will create any folder, give it any type of folder name. I'm just going to call it CSS tutorials. This then. I'm just gonna open my project and my text editor. Okay. Now create. Uh, you can give it any type of name like Dagi.css, but uh, I guess style.css is a good name. It's a better name, but you can give it any type of name. The same for my HTML. Like you can create any type of name but uh, bear in mind you c you need to use the dot html extension or you can use dot htm anyways you need to use um, the extension or dot css the same to the css now in my index dot html uh, as i've told you in the series of html tutorials uh, you use html to structure your web web page um, you can see more in the playlist of um, the HTML series of tutorials. So we'll call it CSS tutorials. So CSS has a prerequisite and it is HTML. If you don't know any HTML, then this course is not for you. You need to go and refer HTML at least the basics, then come back to CSS, then it will be more easier. As I've told you, I don't, I'm not gonna uh, repeat what I've, uh, what I've demonstrated in my HTML series of tutorials. So I've, I've shown this, uh, the linking of CSS to my markup. So you can use external, inline or internal CSS. In this case, I'm just going to use external CSS to demonstrate my CSS. So in my style.css, first let's just go live. If you don't have the live server extension, you can download it from extensions. You can install it. If you're using VS Code, this is the live server. So. If you're not using, then never mind, it's not a necessity. Let's go to. I prefer Chrome. Anyways, uh, I just prefer Chrome because I love the developer uh, options or the developer tools, dev tools. So let's just close this then. To check if we've connected our style.css or not, we can use the uh, right click on our browser, then go to view page source, or the shortcut is control plus U, click on view page source. Now forget this code over here. This is just a code uh, injected by live server. Live server is, as I've told you, the um, extension from VS Code. I can show you, uh, for example, let's open this. File, index.html. Yeah, now, if I, uh, if I right click and view page source, you can see this is uh, the only code. Now, the, the live server injected code is not here. So this is, basically the code so click on style.css then whatever you write in your style.css for example if you write anything here or maybe 
this is the CSS and you refresh this then click this you can see that this is the CSS message on your um, style the CSS so it's working or you can even use um, the aesthetic which is the universal selector it selects everything in your markups then select background color and give it a color of uh, yellow you can see it's changing <coughs> instantly so it's working for now um, what I what I want you to see is the basics as I've told you the basics of CSS in this part specific part of the series more we'll, we'll go in more advanced um, concepts later on so stay tuned on the playlist then let's go to um, our CSS then let's see what a CSS code looks like now we need the element it might be selected or let's call it the selector it might be selected using the element name or a class or ID whatever don't worry what the, those things are uh, you can go in your index uh, in your index.html then you can see this is an element so we'll see an example of what we're talking about selectors but uh, don't worry for now then open curly braces inside the curly braces we need property and a value this is how your CSS code looks like this is the basic so you need the selector um, let's see an example here for example I select my body then curly braces what is the property I want to do to the body of my CSS in this case background color give it yellow now my body is uh, is uh, yellow so this body is the selector I've selected the HTML markup element body um, then I gave it a property of background color then a value of yellow if you want to give it for example the let's select just a div then hello world or this is CSS anyways whatever and my div I just selected this way then once I've selected it give it a background color of um, white maybe you can give it a width of 50% and uh, maybe a, high, a padding of 20 pixels you can see um, you are styling your markup using the CSS so what is padding what is width what is background color we will see in the more in the um, upcoming tutorials but I want you to remember let me remove this and I want you to remember this is the property name and this is the value uh, of the property and this is the selector and there are main types of selectors we'll see in the future tutorials thank you for listening stay tuned